My name is uh, Vinicio de Jesus Perez. I am an assistant professor in the Division of Pulmonary Critical Care Medicine at Stanford University. I'm also a staff physician in the Adult Pulmonary Hypertension Clinic, also at Stanford. So today I would like to tell you a little bit about one of the ongoing projects that we are engaged in uh, pulmonary hypertension, which has to do with elucidating genetic markers in a population of Iberian gypsies who are afflicted with a very severe form of pulmonary hypertension that is called pulmonary veno-occlusive disease. This is a project that we're running in collaboration with colleagues in the Hospital 12 de Octubre, And the way this happened was that a couple of months ago, I received communication from a graduate student called Jair Tenorio, who was uh, interested after reading one of our publications on use of whole exome sequencing to discover novel variants in patients with idiopathic pulmonary hypertension that we published around 2014. He said, listen, we have this very interesting patient cohort. We have identified some patients that actually seem to have like a familial form of this disease All of these patients are the product of interfamily marriage, and we believe that there's some new genetic variants. So we would like to create a collaboration where we can learn how to use next generation sequencing strategies, also to use some of the validation tools such as using endothelial cells, doing cellular molecular studies so that we can characterize what the functional impact of these mutations are. So Jair came to us uh, for three months. He spent time in our lab. He had access to our genetic data. And now he has returned to Madrid. And what he's done in the interim is performing whole exome sequencing of these patients. And we are partnering also with the uh, UK Bridge cohort to try to collect information about patients that have PVOD that's idiopathic or familiar, the idea here being what makes this Iberian gypsy population unique? Are there genetic markers that are within these families that are different from those that have been observed in other cohorts uh, in Europe? Another thing that Jair discovered while he was here is another new genetic variant on a gene that appears to be responsible or potentially responsible for some of the gender-based differences that we're seeing in pulmonary hypertension. Now, we now have prepared a international program where members of our group are going to go to Madrid. We're going to be interacting with this uh, Iberian gypsy population, which they're actually, uh, usually, culturally, they're very shy and isolated for numerous reasons. They are afraid of the system. There's a lot of discrimination, but the group in Madrid has really established a bond of trust. So they have access to these families. So in addition, what we're going to be involved in is we have access here at Stanford for a lot of uh, next generation sequencing, bioinformatic strategies. So I think we can really collaborate to identify what may be responsible for this aggressive phenotype? The question will then become, is there something unique in this family? Are there factors that can be seen in the other forms of PBOD? But ultimately, I think what we will obtain is better insight into what really, from the genetic standpoint, seems to drive the development of pulmonary hypertension and PVOD. This is actually a tribe. We're talking about a tribe. We're talking about close to 100 and within that different families. But again, I think uh, it's hard to sort of uh, separate the families because uh, there's been a lot of intermarriage. 
So that part, it's a little bit hard. I haven't seen the pedigree analysis that they've done so far. They're going to be quite complicated compared to what we are used to when we follow families with heritable pulmonary hypertension. A lot of these patients have already been seen at the hospitals. We know they actually have severe pulmonary hypertension. Blood samples have been collected, and that's going to be the source of the genetic material that we're going to be using. One interesting tidbit is that, you know, we're going to be using techniques to grow out endothelial cells that are circulating from their blood. And also we can potentially use a pluripotent stem cell based strategy to actually make endothelial cells or smooth muscle cells to sort of use as a system to model what the pulmonary vasculature may be like. So if these patients have a particular genetic mutation, we could potentially use these cells to see how that affects the endothelium. This is something that has been uh, used and demonstrated to be a feasible strategy by Dr. Marlene Rabinovich and Dr. Joseph uh, Wu. Now, the other thing is that some of these patients with PVOD, unfortunately, historically, the pH therapies don't really work as well. So what ends up happening is that a patients may undergo transplant and at that time we can capture the tissues and we can actually look at architecture, maybe even isolate the, the cells. But I think what this will help us also is that if we can identify healthy carriers of these mutations, whatever they are, in that population, we can follow them in time through echo, clinical visits, and just see how penetrant these mutations may be. Because these patients technically may be at risk of developing the disease. So if we know that they are healthy at baseline and we can follow them in time, and if we know what their diet is, what their exposure is, and if they develop the pH, we may actually get some information about environmental factors or other modifiers that may be of interest in terms of understanding how genetic and environment play a role in uh, developing this. Now, Jair works with Pilar Escribano, who is the head of the PH uh, group in Hospital Universitario La Paz. And she is the clinician who follows uh, these patients. Jair is a postdoc and uh, he works on the genetic side. So this is going to be really interesting. And I think at this point in time, we're just starting. It's early, but I think we have a really big opportunity here to really study heritable forms of pulmonary hypertension. My name is Vinicio de Jesus Perez, and I am aware that I'm rare.